guys, I was just editing the video that you are about to watch and realised that I didn't actually film an intro to it. So that's a great start. So literally it just goes straight into me doing my makeup. So what I am going to be doing in this video is the Xiong John inspired look. I really hope you enjoy it. This is something I've done previously. It's on my Instagram. I'll flash up a few photos here of been doing it before i didn't actually film it and i really wanted to get around to it so this is what this video is and i really hope you enjoy it and yeah let's just get into it so if i sound a bit like uh, i'm a little bit ill basically i use the cbd oil from revolution just to prep my skin and then also went over with the rebel london insta fix and go which is like a priming spray and also a fixing spray as well so i just put that on just to give my face that tackiness so that my makeup stays on. Right, future Jenna jumping in again because I'm literally through editing and I need to explain something because it's not gonna make sense and you're gonna think I look crazy, but basically with this look, I tried to glue down my eyebrows and it didn't work. Half of my eyebrow wasn't like coated and I ended up peeling it off anyway. So I just wanted to explain the next clip that you're about to see where I've got like half my eyebrow covered, it's irrelevant. Like I've cut out the whole bit of me doing it because it didn't work. I peeled it off and just drew it with my normal eyebrows anyway. Let's get back into it. A revolution, you'll find that a lot of my makeup is revolution. I can't help it, they're a really great brand. This is just the Conceal and Define and I'm in F2, which is the second lightest shade, I think. And literally just throw it all over my face. I swear, whenever I do like makeup on camera, it turns out so crap compared to when I would do it, like just sat here on my own. Now I look pale as a ghost and you clearly see that the eyebrow thing did not work. I'm just gonna take some more of that <laughs> foundation and use it as a concealer for under my eyes. Actually, I'm just gonna, again, put it over some problem areas. Actually, my skin is not looking too bad at the moment. Then I'm just gonna blend that in with my finger. Better coverage. Okay, so I think this is as good as I'm gonna get my skin looking like looking a little bit oily at the moment so i'm just gonna set my face with oh that's great it's completely like rubbed off so you can't even see it i know it's revolution that's for sure i'm just gonna pop a bit into my other pot just because it's, it's so hard to get out of this i'm just gonna take my little real techniques brush and set under my eyes i'm just gonna take a big powder brush and powder the rest of my face because we're looking very oily right now we don't want that right now my eyebrows back that one's fine it didn't have any glow on it anyway i'm gonna take my rimmel london oh, this is an 002 cool glow and it's just like a contour shade a blush and a highlight all in one i'm just gonna take the contour shade and just define my cheeks a bit just add some color back into my face as well i want to get that jawline sharp like sharp jaw that same brush just to contour my nose just because it's a bit smaller and to be fair, I don't really like contour properly. I just run it down, run it down, underneath, on top, that's it. Now my nose looks like a different colour. I just go over it with my powder brush just to blend it all in because I know it can get very intense when you do it with a smaller brush now for blush i like how i've done the eyebrows literally last and that's the thing i wanted to do first basically i find that with this whole makeup look you can literally do like your own like face makeup how you want to do it and it's all about the eyebrows the eyebrows and the hair are the main thing of this look so yeah i'm just taking that blush obviously on my cheeks and i put it over my nose now just you know ego and all but no i just i don't know why i've just started doing it i think it looks nice who knows i'm taking my highlighter which is a tanya burr and i'm just taking that on the same real techniques brush the smaller one that i use and oh so pretty i'm just gonna go in with that powder brush and blend that all in just so it's not as harsh should we try and do the eyebrows <laughs> i feel like i've been putting it off for a while yeah let's do it let's do it let's brave it let's do it obviously he had the eyebrows to match his hair which was like this really like electric blue color so i'm going to be taking this massive revolution palette it's called the maxi reloaded palette and i'm going to be using this one here and we're just going to see how it goes let's see if i can make this slit in my eyebrow and we're just going to map it out we're going to try and make it straight we're going to do the slit we're going to do it
I'm going to time lapse this just so it'll make it a lot easier. First eyebrow done. That looks hella thick. He got thick brows, okay? And it's probably because I haven't got any eye makeup that it looks so much thicker. I've got it as straight as I can. I'm gonna do the other eyebrow off camera and then I'll come back and we'll try and do this slit. I'm back after doing my other eyebrow. I look at hella crazy right now. It's definitely because I've got no eye makeup on. Because I'm using my phone to film, I have to like get up on my laptop what the slit looked like. Because I've done it before, but I just forgot. Now we're going to try and attempt to do the slit in our eyebrow. To be fair, I reckon I've, I've got this. I've definitely got this. I'm just going to be taking some concealer to do this because the eyebrow gluing down did not work. We're going to step two. Step two? Plan B. <laughs> step so I've literally just taken that same eyebrow brush and I've just cleaned it off a bit and I've put some foundation on the back of my hand and I've literally just taken that right on the top of the brush like so and we're going to do it so it goes across here then down at an angle We've mapped out a bit of it I do have to say after seeing this look it did make me want to actually shave my eyebrow like his I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not as bad ass as him, so I couldn't put it off. <laughs> Decided not to. I'm not only picking myself up, but how freaking cool does that look? Okay, so I'm just gonna go over that a little bit more just to define it a bit. Okay, we're gonna leave it like this. And then the downwards one. Oh my God, this is so cool. Honestly, whoever came up with this was, it's literally a genius. Iconic, the best look ever. Right, so it's like, it's, so you've still got the arch. So I'm gonna start from just right here. Yeah, there. And then just bring it down. So cool. Can I actually shave my eyebrow like this? Can someone who knows how to shave eyebrows properly like come do this to me? It just looks so sick. I'm gonna leave it like that and stop playing around with it, but I'm just gonna blend out the edges with my finger. And for the eyes, like he's got quite a brownie natural look. So I literally think all I'm going to do is take that same shade that I used to contour my face and just put it in at the crease of my eye and maybe darken up the edges a little bit. But I don't want to go too heavy on the eyeshadow because literally the whole point of this look is based on the eyebrows. And that's like the main thing. Just taking my little fluffy brush, taking that same shade in the Rimmel London palette. Hopefully this will be dark enough. And I'll just pop that in the crease. See, that adds just a little bit of depth back into my eye, but doesn't completely take over the whole makeup look. Sorry if the angle has changed. I literally just had to go on my phone and call someone. Hopefully I'm in the same position that I was in. I need to stop looking at the screen. Look at the camera. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put like a little bit of a shimmery shade on my eyelid. Just nothing too drastic, just to lighten up my eye. It's glimmer and pearls mixed in the Revolution Forever Flawless palette. And I'm literally just gonna put that on the eyelid. Just add a little something, something. Just like that. I'm gonna put an eyeliner, gonna stick on some lashes, then we're gonna come back and do the lips. So yeah, I'll be right back. This is the finished look without the wig. I am gonna put the wig on in a moment, but I just thought I'd explain like what eyelashes I was wearing. I've also added some blue eyeliner. This is the NYX pencil eyeliner in Sunrise Blue. So I just put that on my waterline and also ran that blue shade that I used for my eyebrows on my lower lash line, just on the outer corner, just to, I don't know, had that little pop of colour. And then for eyelashes, I used my So Wispy by Ilya 
and they're just like these really big ones like literally and they are huge <laughs> just for my lips i just use this nyx filler instinct lip gloss he's just like very natural on the eyes very natural on the lips and i just wanted to keep it like that and again have the eyebrows as the main focus as well as the wig which is to come let's go do that please do excuse the wig like it's not my best wig that i have it's the only color blue wig that i have that matches young john's hair it isn't a lace front that's why i've stuck this out over it otherwise literally it, it's a hot mess <laughs> nobody wants to see that this is the finished look this is my young john inspired look from 80s with the slit eyebrow i'll just give you a little close-up uh, my eyebrows do not match at all ignore that it's just a really natural look nothing too fancy on the eyeshadow literally all about the eyebrows and the hair just a really glossy nude lip i really hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a like comment suggestions down below for any future videos that you want me to do any more k-pop idol looks that you want me to recreate then please let me know in the comment section below also just want to say feel free to follow me on any of my social media my twitter and my instagram will be linked down below if you want to go and follow me on them i am mostly active on my instagram so yeah feel free to follow me on that i'll also leave my usernames here so if you want to go and check them out then here's your chance thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys